Economist Mohammad Hashim Helu confirmed that the central bank cannot float the dinar exchange rate. Hela said, the central bank of Iraq cannot think about floating the exchange rate because it will abandon its only influential tool in light of the weakness and disruption of other economic tools. He added that the exchange rate is the nominal stabilizer of monetary policy in Iraq, and thinking about abandoning it is economic suicide and the bank cannot even think about that. He continued, adding that floating the exchange rate in the presence of a parallel market and large speculators, and the presence of people who own billions of dinars and others who own billions of dollars, will lead to a sharp decline in the value of the currency, high levels of inflation, and rising prices. Economist Mana Alabadi confirmed that the fixed dollar exchange rate adopted by Iraq depletes the country's foreign currency reserves. Alabadi said, the only thing that is completely under the control of the Iraqi state is the exchange rate which forcefully drains all foreign reserves to maintain an imaginary fixed price that traders benefit from to increase their profit margin. He added, I never called for following a free float policy. Rather, I called for a start to follow a compensation policy managed with a small volatility factor and gradually work to increase it until complete liberalization is reached. He continued, the alternative to maintaining the fixed exchange rate is to continue depleting the reserves until they run out and the oil market is exposed to very expected future fluctuations. Then, will we be forced, not given the choice, to an absolute flotation of the currency or a shocking reduction in the exchange rate, as happened in 2020, and then the risks will be greater and greater?